You know, you might be surprised to know that 20% of the vehicles sold in the United States are actually commercial vehicles. They deliver things like rocks, packages, and that's how all your fresh groceries get into the store. Without the pickup truck, our lives might grind to a halt. How would you pave roads, build houses, or even tow that fifth wheel or boat on vacation? And for manufacturers, it's all about being the best pickup in America. Holding the position of best-selling truck in America is the Ford F-150. It's been at the top of the pickup pile for almost four decades. And that's why there's so excitement surrounding the introduction of the new F-150. To bring the vehicle in line with Americans' requirements for fuel savings, the new F-150 will be made of aluminum. A lighter body means less fuel consumed. And GM's not resting on their laurels. They walked away with the crown of North American Truck of the Year in Detroit for the new Silverado. Redesigned last year, the Silverado was tested for over a million miles to make sure it could survive a beating in the American workplace. It might be third in the sales table, but the Ram 1500 is one of the most awarded trucks in America. It won the Motor Trend Truck of the Year last two years in a row. And now Ram is introducing a diesel version of the 1500 to push the miles per gallon to 25. Down the table of sales, Japanese manufacturer Toyota are not backing down from a fight to win the hearts and loyalty of American customers. Strong and bold, the Tundra is a capable vehicle, but Toyota know the biggest problem is image in America. Also from Japan, Honda decided not to go head-to-head -head with American manufacturers. Honda's only truck in the marketplace, the Ridgeline, is aimed at those who enjoy an outdoor activity lifestyle. For those wanting to haul and tow with a pickup but require the amenities of a full-size luxury sedan, GMC Sierra fills that gap. A twin of the Chevy Silverado, it has all the pickup features that you'd expect, plus the extras of luxury. The game is on. Every manufacturer looking to increase their share of sales. But the true winner is the American public, with more choice and a better caliber of truck available than ever before in history. Now, the new GMC Sierras are in dealerships right now, and to get into one will cost you around $49,000. Getting myself a little bit muddy, I'm Nick Miles.